515, okay. That's why I have the tuner on it. So now we're running just about a flat match. Hey, Roger on that. Yeah, sounds good. Oh, good, yeah, too no easy. Down on 37, it's like, oh my god, after you've been up here for a while and you go down there, it's crazy. Yeah, it was, uh, there was a lot of big stations coming in from, like, Missouri and stuff like that hitting California. Yeah, I know, absolutely, Arizona. Okay, I just turned my power off. Now I'm just running stock power out of the radio. Uh, you're hitting me, uh, solid nine with stock power. Okay, that's good. So that's, uh, that's 50 watts PEP there. I did have it peaked up, right? So it's, uh... <laughs> Actually, sorry, 40, 40 watts, but uh, that's good, so I don't really need the power on it all then, and you're blasted in here. Hey, QSL Joe. Yeah, it's uh, it's just sticking solid nine. Uh, yeah, sounding good. Yeah, that Antron's working good, so that guy I was talking to in Sayward, Alaska, running an Antron, that's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, he was coming in down here also. I was listening to your guys' QSO, and... Uh, he was coming in. He wasn't quite as loud as you, but he was definitely making a good trip. Yeah, it's a long way away. So listen on here later on today, because you're the same time zone as me. And you listen on here a little bit later on, later in the afternoon, and that's when you're starting to get to Southeast Asia. And uh, that's when I, I worked South Korea now twice in the last week, two different stations. And like I say, that guy was Southern California, man, on his Antron. So, hey, there's definitely hope you can do it. Yeah, that would be really awesome. If I could get a contact like that, that would make my day for sure. Uh, I was watching a video gate, uh, UDX uh, 357, I think. He was here in Japan on uh, AM, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. I talked to Japan on AM. You know, back in the day, when I was younger, it would be back Channel 4, Channel 5, Channel 3. The U.S. skip would fade out, and nothing but Japan would be coming in on AM. Wow, that'd be cool. Yeah, I haven't heard Japan in my radio yet. I had a friend that when I lived on the mainland south of Vancouver on the coastal mainland there, he had a, he had a beam up, he had a three element flat side radio shack Yagi, so it was an archer, three element Yagi, and they sold him as a vertical, but he flipped the, the bracket around and he made it horizontal, and he had 80 feet of tower. So he managed to get used 80 feet of tower, 10 foot sections, so eight sections, and then he put that beam up there. How he got that thing up there, I don't know. But he put it up there with a Channel Master rotor. And then on top of the beam, he had a big stick. But every night, that guy would get in there and talk to Japan on AM with that beam antenna there and barefoot. Wow, that would be pretty awesome. Yeah, one of the things I'm going to do in the in the next week or two is I'm going to drive out to Santa Barbara and go up to the top of the mountain. Uh, it's about 3,200 feet above sea level, and I'm going to see see how it does up there. Yeah, there was one area uh, that I was kind of looking on the maps, and I think I can get to it on one of the roads, and it's about 3,200 feet. Holy cow, man, that is high. That's cool. I had no idea they had coastal mountains. That's coastal. Yeah, Rajo. Yeah, I think it, it ranged around 2,800 most of the time, but then there was one spot that went up above 3,000, so I'm going to see if I can get to that. It actually snows up there. Do you think it snows? Yeah, we get in the in the winter. We we get a lot of snow in those mountains up there. Well, wow, that's like about a hundred miles north, yeah. Huh? Uh, let's see. It's a, probably about a fifty or sixty mile drive for me. Well, that's not that bad. That's that's not very far. That'd, that'd be a good drive. Yeah, Rajo. Or I can go back behind me up like Ojai, up back uh, Pine Mountain and all that stuff. But I don't know that area is good, so I usually go towards Santa Barbara and go up in those mountains. No, I just go 101 and then I get off on the 154 in Santa Barbara and drive up that way. And then there's a East Camino, Cielo, and West Camino, and I usually go up on one of those and, and check it out. That's right, 101. That's, that's the one I take down to the Oregon coast. And I've gone into Northern California with 101. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's exactly the highway to take. I call it the coastal highway. Yeah, the the coastal one, yeah, because there's the five that goes behind behind the mountains, and then uh, there is actually a highway one too. You can go from like uh, San Francisco all the way up to Oregon on highway one, and then we do have a highway one southern also. Well, maybe it is highway one. I always thought it was highway one hundred one, and I 
take it, uh, what I do when I go to the Oregon coast, I go to Victoria, so uh, I take a ferry from our island, drive down to the southern end of Vancouver Island, and there's a ferry, an American ferry, that takes you to Port Angeles, Washington, and the customs is right in Victoria, I was just there the other day, and I've been on it a few times, and you hop on that ferry, and they do the customs, it's really easy, you just sit in there in the parking lot, the officer comes right up to the window of your car, how long are you going for, what are you bringing across, blah, 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 and uh, then you drive on the ferry there, and it's an hour and a half across the one to Fuca, and it takes you into Port Angeles, Washington, and then there from there, if you go right when you're in Port Angeles, you go on to the highway, the coastal highway, which I've always kind of called Highway 101. Yeah, I think that might be one. Uh, when I when I went to Oregon, we stayed on the five, and then we drove across to. We were up near Portland. We drove across to Lincoln City, and I and we took the coast from there all the way up to Astoria. Okay, that's okay because I I've been to all those places many times. So when we go uh, across to Port Angeles, instead of going right to number one, we actually go uh, left and we go through Squim, then we drive down through Olympia, the capital of Washington State. Then we kind of book it right over to Aberdeen, which is on Coastal Highway again, which is 1 or 101. And then we drive down to southern Washington on the coast. There's a bridge that takes you from southern Washington into Astoria. And then once you're in Astoria, then we go, we stay at Seaside. And then we go to Tillamook, Lincoln City, and all the way down. It's actually a really nice drive. And then we did actually drive into Crescent City, northern Cal, to see some of the Redwoods. Hey, Roger on that. Yeah, I think that would be one because uh, what uh, – I did take that one, uh, but we, yeah, we did the five, and then we did the coast, and I think, I think it was the one. I'm gonna have to look on a map and double check that because I did that too from Astoria, and then drove all the way down Lincoln City and and down to Crescent City also. It's usually quieter on 